if you don't watch this video to the end then you're doing it the long way you're wasting time just do yourself a favor watch this video first thing you need to know is yo wagwan hope you're having a great day now in this video i'm going to be showing you how to convert stereo tracks to mono tracks in studio one now this is going to help you out a lot it's super quick and super straightforward so we're just going to get into it but before we do that if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now my question of the day is what are you trying to convert from stereo into mono what kind of sound what are you going for is it vocals is it drums is it an 808 let me know and let me know why in the comment section down below now this is going to be very very quick yeah i'm not going to waste your time whatsoever it's very very easy and i'm going to show you a quick example now there's a few things you can do with this first of all we can make our entire track mono okay so i can play a little bit of this track and then I can just go over here into the mixer right here and I can change this into a mono track. You can hear the difference, right? <laughs> if you have, if you can't hear the difference, put on some headphones and you'll definitely hear the difference. Okay, so you can do that. You can make your whole track mono in order to like, if you're gonna mix or something, you wouldn't wanna release it in mono. Don't do that, yeah? That's just gonna be shooting yourself in the foot. Now. The next thing you can do is you can make individual tracks mono. And to do that, you need to come to the actual recording workflow, workspace. I don't know what this is called, but I just, this is just my recording space, isn't it? So down here, we have the beat track, which is what I'm gonna be using as an example. Right now it's in stereo, as you can see by these two circles. So let's listen back. Very, very stereo. And then if we click these two circles, it's gonna turn it into mono. As you can hear, it's not spread out as much between both ears. So let's listen back in mono and we'll change it back to stereo. Mono, stereo. That's how it's done. And every one of these tracks has this same little toggle where you can turn it into mono or stereo at your convenience. Very, very easy, very, very straightforward. If you wanna set up a mic, I've already done a video on how to set up your mic for recording, I believe, but you wanna make it come in, put in one and be a mono track if you're setting up mics. That's just a little bit of advice if you don't know already. And that's that. Now, before you go, I do have something you will want to know about and you'll probably get excited about. Now, if you want your songs to be half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage if you want your vocals to be spotify ready then listen up yeah you can grab my spotify ready vocal mixing template right now link is down below or go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates this is the same template that i use to make every single song that i create it makes sure that my vocals are spotify ready before i even start recording so that when i listen back to my vocals they already sound crisp and nice and i can get that take perfect okay this is going to help you save a bunch of time and if you don't want to use the same plugins that i use no problem it also comes with a pdf which walks you through all the settings that i use for my template so you can apply this to plugins that you already have or you can use the stock plugins and just use that pdf now the pdf is already worth the price of admission and you also get this template as a bonus to just speed everything up and make things easier for you i highly suggest you do use the same plugins i use but if you don't want to you don't have to okay so grab this link is down below it's going to help you out a lot if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video you're going to learn more about music online business and online marketing i'll see you there peace out